my name is Lydia Wafula. I am dairy farmer from Kakamega County, Western Kenya. I run a, a dairy farm called Kikwit Dairies, which started in 2013 with uh, three employees and uh, five fresh animals. Right now, we are running at uh, seven employees who are paid on permanent basis and uh, 60 animals that are lactating plus the cows. Uh, we work with the youth and women in terms of fodder production, where we're able to produce milk uh, of 150 liters in a day. Our main customers in market and clients are um, the schools and the banks in the region. Initially, it was not uh, very easy to start the business because uh, we had to go through several challenges. The first challenge is about the lack of information in networks. Uh, we didn't have uh, enough information on, on dairy farming. Uh, second was uh, the lack of constant markets, where we had clients who could be able to pick milk today and tomorrow they are gone. And uh, third, we also had unskilled workers, where maybe we had to take more time maintaining them so that they're able to adopt and be able to run the farm and do the casual work. And uh, we also had uh, a problem with the artificial insemination, whereby we needed to, we were not able to get efficient services from the artificial inseminators, and uh, it kept on giving us uh, the bulls instead of heifers, which was uh, a loss to us. And uh, lastly, we also had a problem with the poor planning of the feeds, whereby we were not able to take care of the, of the farm for six months where we could get along and uh, the feeds are over. So we have to again look for another alternative. So basically what I can say that the rural youth is going through as uh, challenges is uh, they're not able to get uh, enough information about the market and also just do the value analysis for the enterprise they're doing. Uh, secondly, there's also lack of uh, the ICT centers, the research and development centers for the technology up uptake. Uh, the rural youth is also not able to access finance and that's why here we are opting for the zero financing where they're able to get loans or grants which they don't pay with the interests. Uh, also the challenge also comes in access to land where most of them the, the land belongs to the parents and they're not able to be given to do the agriculture as a, a venture to bring in income. Thank you very much.